Let's get one thing straight right from the start. This is not your typical love story. It's more of a, how should I put it? Ow, what the picture fell on my head? <laughs> a stupid wall banger. Wall banger. Wall banger? Wall banger? Wall banger? Wall banger. Wall banger? I've been waiting to peel this onion since you first knocked that picture off my wall. I knocked the picture off your wall? Hey. I'm Rick Hong of Hollywood First Look, and I wanted to tell you two congratulations on this. And Kelly, I just wanted to start with you because since you are the DWL, former heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> no, actually, like, I'm, no, it's funny because this came along and I was like, I'm a big fan of yours. You know, I started watching you in Now Apocalypse. No way. Yeah. And then to see you on heels and everything. And I was just kind of like, I was like, oh, you want me to talk to Kelly? Great. You know, this is based on a book. But at the same time, I kind of feel like most of the time for like certain projects, I feel like for research, you kind of need to read the book to get an idea. For this one, I really feel like it's more about the chemistry of meeting your co-star and sticking to the page and trusting your director. So I don't know if either of you had the, like w decided to reference the book or you're like, no, no, let's just, let's just go to set and just do this. Yeah. That was the first thing I did actually, when I signed on to play Caroline, I immediately got the book, read it. And it was important to me to also have a conversation with Alice Clayton from the start, just because I had known that um, the fans of passion flicks are really adamant about it, staying true to the book. They really want to see it pretty much like book to screen, almost exact, but um, it's just, it's a, it's a heavy role to take on as, as Caroline. And so all the input that I can have, the better. I'm the kind of person that likes to be like over prepared for things. So I'm like, I want to have a conversation with Alice. I want us to meet. I like, we got to get these lines down. What's Tosca's perspective? What are the passionistas perspective? Just having all of that was really helpful going into it. Um, so I will say it does remain pretty true to the book, but luckily the book and the script uh, were pretty similar and Bringing, bringing like, you know, my own Kelly actor perspective on it wasn't that hard to do. So it wasn't too much of a stretch. Yeah, but it, yeah, like you said, just the book and speaking to Alice give you, it gives you so many more nuggets that you wouldn't mm -hmm. otherwise have to get it screenplay, right? And, uh, it gives I, the characters a little more, a little more meat. layers. Yeah. yeah, or it at least allows us to Mm -hmm. They kept a lot from the book. So I did read, I did read Wallbanger, you know, when like we started, uh, before we started filming, because I just kind of wanted to get the feel and understand her a little bit more even. And there are extra tidbits in there where you get to kind of see even like, you know, this version of her, Alice's version from 2008, like her spunkiness is a little bit different now maybe. But at the same time, Tosca and Alice worked on the screenplay together to make sure that like they were keeping the girls true to what was in the book. But, you know, like, I think once you're on set, once you're starting to build chemistry with actors and like talking to someone like Tosca, who's very collaborative, um, I think it's kind of easy to also just play. So, so you'll see a little bit of that, too, in, in the movie. The book is basically my Bible throughout the entire shoot. I use it. Uh, you know, for lack of a better word, I do use it quite religiously to really understand what's going on in the in the in every scene because our fans are expecting that scene translated onto the screen, and I want to make sure that I give it to them. So every nuance is there. Like, what is the food that's going to be on the table? This is what was in the book. This is what's on the table, and it's important to me. So Kelly, I don't know at what point this came along. I mean, obviously, like I know you're already ripped from doing heels, you know, staying in shape and everything else too. But um, Amadeus, for you, I was just trying to figure out, how does the diet work? It was a bit of a brutal adaptation. Yeah, I, I lost a good amount of weight for this. Um, you know, we were on strike. This, this project came to be just before the strike ended. Um, so there was not a lot going on. And uh, I had not been working for a little little bit and was taking it easy you and relaxed, it. <laughs> you know, enjoying. And I had to really get myself in shape. And Costco was essentially like a personal trainer 
Um, <laughs> getting me to the day I saw and you, and you being on heels and ribs. Well, yeah. I mean, luckily, there had been some time since heels where I wasn't as muscular, but like I had kept some of it. But the day that I saw you eat bread, I was like, it's, a, it's a miracle. Weird I think we might have been in, in, Spain. in Spain. I'm like, we're in Spain. Come on, yeah. you gotta have just. Like indulge a little bit. Enjoy the. You were bit. you were strict. Yeah, I, I, I applaud your uh, both out.